Hey everyone, welcome back to Simply Blessed Crafts. I'm so happy you're here. Um, I'm going to have some lemon themed DIYs for you. Uh, my review is a little bit funky. I'm letting you guys know that now. Um, the, the gnome that I have in that video is actually one that I posted for you. Um, I don't think you really saw a whole lot of him. My camera died when I was video videotaping him. Um, but he is in the reveal. I've had this video kind of set aside for a little while now. I added some things to it and I redid some things. So kind of just bear with me there. I apologize for that. Um, if you can give me a thumbs up like button down below that'd be great and it'd be great if you subscribed if you're not already I would love to have you welcome to the family um, I'm not gonna waste any time let's get into those DIYs DIY number one so this guys I got from Dollar General for five bucks and I'm just going over it with a light coat of ivory chalk paint. I'm not too concerned about covering everything up. I just wanted some of those words to get covered up because I'm actually going to be covering this up. So and I just dry it real quick with my heat gun and then I'm not quite sure exactly where I got these napkins from. It's either Dollar General or or Walmart. I'm kind of leaning towards Walmart because they are thicker. Um, but here I'm just kind of lining it up down the below and then I'm mod podging it down. Just make sure that everything's sticking down good. I also want this to be um, sealed for, you know, to be able to carry drinks or whatever if you're having a little barbecue or something. Be a nice tray to use to carry stuff from your kitchen out. Here I'm going in with the exacto knife trying to cut off the excess of it. Um, it was still a little wet yet, so I was still having issues with that. Um, so I decided to just kind of let it dry a little bit longer. Um, so I go in with a pair of scissors. And I'm just going to cut two strips to use for the sides that are still white there. just cutting a straight edge. If I have a good straight angle to line it up with. And I just mod podge it down. And I do the same thing for that corner. And then I come in, I believe I let this sit overnight, to be honest with you guys. And I'm just kind of peeling this up a little bit. Some of the Mod Podge um, got on the, the side there and the napkin was kind of sticking. So there were some spots that I wasn't coming up. So I decided that I was going to go around the edge with some of this jute rope. Um, I believe I bought this at Walmart. Um, I've had it 
in my stash for quite a while. I have used it for other projects, but that was before I started YouTube channel. Um, but it has lasted me forever, so this is an absolute great deal. I mean, you can see how much I have left. It wasn't covering up everything completely, so I went in with another strip and I'm just gluing right down, right on top of the other, other row of jute. I did think about doing the handles too, but I, I didn't do that. Probably should have cut more of this out. My editing skills aren't the best, guys. I'm sorry. Hopefully I'll get better at it. I just cut off the excess now and glue down that little corner there. And that's, that's it guys, that's all I did with that one. DIY number two. So this one is a just a regular plaque from Walmart. And I'm just gonna take a baby wipe and go over the edges with that antique wax. These edges were really rough too, guys, so that's why it's taking me longer, I believe. I should have sanded it down first before I started doing this, but it is what it is. And then I take this lemon sign. Um, this um, actually came from the calendar. Um, I believe it was the the Farm Fresh one. Um, and I'm just laying it down and kind of like creasing where the edges are so I know where to cut. And I'm a horrible cut with left-handed scissors, guys. So, funny story is that I am left-handed. And because I've cut um, stuff out pretty much all my life with right-handed scissors, I have a hard time lining up to get it to straight cut with left-handed scissors now because it's backwards to me but anyway 
Um, I go over this with glue stick, just getting all the edges and everything and stick it down. So my blue scissors that you saw me use, those are actually left-handed scissors. And I have to go in sometimes with right-handed scissors to get things to cut straight because I cannot cut straight with them. Weird. So what happens when I saw, oh hey, left-handed scissors, let's give them a try. They're sharp scissors though, so they're good scissors. It's just, I have issues cutting them, cutting with them. Um, so here I'm just going over the back with some more of that antique Waverly wax. I, I just thought it would give it a better, um, a better look, more, I don't know, more, Oh, okay, I was wondering what the heck I was doing. Um, I'm actually taking one of those soft tooth um, hangers and I'm just drilling that down to the back. And then I finish up with that. Anyway, I did the Waverly Wax because I thought it would give it a more finished look. But anyway, um, this one, this little birdhouse I got from Dollar General. And I'm just going over top of it with some uh, ink in Waverly and then um, I go over or grab these napkins that I got also got from Dollar General and I uh, <laughs> these actually made me laugh when I opened them up I, I thought it was so funny like they had to save money so they just did the one square with the print. Like, I, I don't know, I just, that was just funny to me. Anyway, I peeled off the backing and I lay it down here and I'm just kind of lining it up, make sure it all fits. And this is the first time I ever actually tried glue stick with a napkin. I just thought, hey, let's give it a try, see if it works. And it works beautifully. Um, it actually works better than Mod Podge, which I'm not surprised. Um, there is no wrinkles or anything. It goes down really smooth. And here I'm just taking my X-Acto knife and I'm just going around the little um, chimp or the roof, cutting off the excess. And I grab my Dollar Tree sanding block and I just go around the edges just to get a very clean, clean look. Scrape off all the excess. And then I decided I was going to go in with some more of that um, ink color in Waverly. I just wanted to give the roof a little more color. It was just too dark or too light or too uh, shiny for me. I wanted it a little more darker and like dirty and dingy like it's been sitting out for a while. So I just went over it with some black paint. I do wipe off a little bit of the excess. And then I picked these up at Walmart. These are kind of like a 3D foam sticker. And I just line it up to the best of my ability. I didn't measure this or nothing. I just kind of stuck them down where it looked good to me. Um, I spell out 
lemon squeezy on my little birdhouse or little house I guess it's not a birdhouse now I had to open a new pack I ran out of ease There you go. DIY number four. Now this one that I've had for a little while is a jar and it has like lemons and like lemonade and salt and like all this stuff um, all over this jar, which I thought was really cute. Um, I didn't know really what to do with this. I was just kind of playing around. Um, I'm not really liking how it turned out, but it is what it is, I guess, and it it's not like it's horrible, but it's not definitely not my favorite DIY. Um, but I just start going over this with the paint just to try to outline some of those raised um, lemons and stuff and yeah, I don't know. So then I give it a dry and it still wasn't popping out to where I like it. So I decided I was going to go in and try to just outline all the lemons and some of the wording. I dried it again. I still wasn't happy with it. I was kind of going over little pieces and I'm just like, nah. So, <clears throat> <coughs> oh, excuse me, guys. I apologize. So I grabbed a, uh, a wet wipe and I just wiped off a bunch of that paint that was in between so it made the stuff stand out more and then uh, I don't know that was kind of more my plan I guess so I was settling with it and I went over it with Mod Podge just so the rest of that paint wouldn't scrape off And then I grabbed some jute twine. I just felt like it still needed something, so I started at the top and I just I just wrapped a bunch of it around. I didn't I don't know, I didn't have any specific length or anything like that. I just After I got that first strand around, and then I just kind of uh, wrapped it, and then I would kind of scoot it up a little bit to where it was going to get that lip. It's kind of more of a lip that kind of goes down on the straight bottle, and so I was just trying to get good coverage up there before I started wrapping it more. <clears throat>
And once I got it to where I was comfortable with it, I, oh, nope, I glued some more. And wrapped some more. I wrapped quite a bit around here. I guess I didn't realize how much I did, but. I just glued it off and cut the excess off and that's pretty much it. These scissors are very dull. That's why I go in with those scissors. But that's it, guys, for that one. <clears throat> DIY number five. And this I got from um, Dollar General as well, I believe. And I'm just grabbing another one of those napkins that you saw earlier. I honestly don't remember where I got those napkins. I do think they were from Walmart or something, but... But I'm just lining it up. Um... This one I actually kind of messed up on and I left it go. But I decided I was going to go over with the glue stick again since that worked the last time. And then I laid it down and realized, oh crap, I should have painted this first. Duh. <laughs> I mean, you can't see the words through it. So I grab a wet wipe and I wipe off the glue. I grab the rest of that Kleenex or Kleenex uh, tissue, dried it off, and now I'm just gonna go over it with one um, one coat of the white paint just to just so it won't get seen. Those letters won't get seen. <laughs> I should have cut more of this out, guys. I apologize again. Boy, I am horrible at editing. Um, but now I'm just going over again with the glue stick. I just lay the napkin down. I just cut off the excess. Again, those scissors are really dull. They're good with paper, but anything else, it's like it, it won't cut anything. Now I'm just going over the edges again with that sanding block just to give it a nice clean edge. Then with some leftover yellow paint that I, from the last DIY, I'm just gonna go over those little tiny uh, corners of the rolling pin handles, paint them up. And that's it, guys. DIY number six. Now this one, I'm kind of just going over a couple little edges that kind of got um, scratched, but I actually did the front of that way back. I was going to do a DIY with it, and then I just didn't. 
but here I'm just finishing it up. I'm gonna go around the back and the sides with that Waverly Antique Wax and dry the front a little bit. And then I, I've had these for a little while in my stash, but I have not used any of them yet. So I just figured I would cut out some lemon. And I just lined it up to where I where I wanted it on here, I guess, and you just rub them on. These ones you can actually see that they change color. You kind of see where they're rubbing. Um, they all kind of do that, but this one you can really see it on camera. I cut that spot a little bit just so I could get it to lay down with that edge um, going around the middle of it. It was kind of hard to get these to lay flat. I kind of did the same thing to that one. This, um, this plate is not in my, uh, final reveal either, guys. I apologize for that. I had my reveal kind of, um, kind of recorded. I did it because I had some stuff that I wanted to try to sell at the flea market. So, <clears throat> I wanted to record everything before I went to the flea market just in case I sold something and then it wouldn't be in my reveal but I uh, did add some things to it so this plate and I do have another gnome for you in this video um, so the reveal shows my guy gnome but I have a female gnome that I'm going to be doing for you, and she is not in the reveal. I do have a picture at the very end of the reveal of her. So, speaking of, this is DIY number six. Where's this seven? Might be DIY number seven, I don't remember. <laughs> but if you watched any of my videos before, guys, you've seen me do all of this before. I just grabbed a sock and I cut it in half, and then I put some rice in the bottom and stuffed the rest of it with polyfill, tied a little rubber band on top, and then I went and grabbed some of this tie-dye fabric that I got from Dollar Tree, and I just cut a little square of it. I'm not doing anything perfect. I just want enough. I just want something to cover her body. <clears throat> Excuse me, my throat's getting dry, so. Um, but I was just kind of trying to make like a little apron or a little dress or something, but I'm just going around and drawing a little circle to cut out. And then I just cut around that little circle again to try to make it look like like a little sundress or something. I think I was kind of going for an apron, but it didn't. I don't know. It, it kind of turned out more like a sundress, but it it's still cute. So I had these left over, and I used these. It's gonna be kind of like, like I said, I was going for an apron. So it's gonna be kind of a tie in the back. So I just roll them up and just glue, glue it together. And I 
just I added cut off little things so I have a, um, an easier area to glue down I guess I don't know and then I just glued the ends to the little dress and then kind of just glued it down to the gnome and back crossed it over like it was tied and it was like a little bow and then I just glued the top down here that went around her head shoulder and then I grabbed the rest of that leftover sock and I just plopped it right on her head for the hat I got these little braids in a pack from Amazon. <clears throat> I'm just cutting a little V shape down in her little dress. I kind of roll it up and then I'm going to glue the braid down. Do the same thing. I get the hat situated again. Um, I grab a little bead. Glue it around the little nose. And I'm gluing his hat, her, her hat down. This is Lena, by the way, guys. I named her Lena. Lena the Lemon Gnome. And I grabbed some more polyfill. And I'm just gonna... Oh, yeah, I do cut off. It's kind of like a weird little... The heel was... The, we... the heel's weird on these socks. So I cut that off. I stuff the rest of it with the polyfill and then I grab some uh, jute twine and I just tie, tie a knot. I cut the excess off and then I grabbed some of this gold ribbon. Since she's a little girl she needs a cute little bow on her hat so I made it into a bow. I just kind of made it into the, like the uh, cancer sign and then I just kind of pinched it and then glued it right down to her little hat. And then I grabbed um, my button stash and I rummaged through my buttons. Found a yellow bead, or like yellow bead, yellow button, which is why I went in my button stash. Um, I ordered some of these off of Amazon, so we got lemon slices and just glued it right down to her hat and there she is. Okay, final reveal guys. I appreciate you guys watching, um, hoping I didn't bore you too much. Um, if you like what you see, please give me a thumbs up down below and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, it really helps my channel channel grow and I appreciate every single one of you. Um, comment down below and tell me which one you think is your favorite. I would really like to hear what you guys have to say. Um, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. Enjoy that beautiful weather outside. Bye guys.